Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast took place the conference entitled President Woodrow Wilson's arbitral award 100 years later in Western Armenia. Leonardo Basmajan met with the Vice Colonel Harutun Hakopian. On November 3, 1920, Brazil recognized the state of Armenia within the borders of Western Armenia. Russia reaffirmed support for Armenian people. The Prime Minister received the Russian governmental delegation. UNESCO proposes sending a mission to Nagorno-Karabakh, Russia to deploy additional forces on Armenian-Azerbaijani border. On November 21, 2020, a conference entitled President Woodrow Wilson's Arbitral Award 100 years later in Western Armenia was held. The conference began with a minute of silence in honor of the fallen soldiers. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, Leonardo Basmajan, made a report. Republic of Western Armenia deputies Varujan Antonian, Ruzan Nakhachatrian, Deputy Minister of Defense Colonel Suren Shahumian made speeches. National Assembly Speaker Leonardo Basmajan presented Woodrow Wilson's Arbitral Award, Wilson's activity in America, then Parliament members Varujan Antonian and Ruzan Nakhachatrian made a historical reference, noting that Armenians are a peaceful people. Peace is now more than enough to develop, they said, referring to the concerns of Armenians living in Western Armenia. During the conference, President Armen Akabramian posthumously awarded Manuk Saikan and Sergi Karapetian with the Sword Medal of Western Armenia. He handed citizenship certificate of the Republic of Western Armenia to Hovanes Karapetian. Then a film dedicated to Leonid Asgadian's 78th birthday was shown. In his report, Armen Akabramian referred to Woodrow Wilson's arbitral award, noting that there is a legally recognized border approved by the 28th President of the United States. Referring to the Artsakh war, he mentioned that one of the main reasons for the current situation is the internal political situation in the country. The Speaker of the Parliament of Western Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan, accompanied by President Armen Akabramian, met with Vice Colonel Harutun Hakopian to talk about the situation of volunteer fighters currently serving in Artsakh from the Liberation Army. The Liberation Army, which consists of a battalion for more than 400 volunteers from different countries, is known for its heroic battles in 1991 to 1994 during the First Artsakh War, under the legendary command of Leonid Asgadian. On November 3, 1920, four months after the adoption of the Treaty of Service, Brazil recognized the state of Armenia within the borders of Western Armenia. Decree 14456 was adopted by Brazilian Parliament and ratified by President Epitacio Pessoa on November 3, 1920. On the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the decision making, the Embassy of the Republic of Armenia in Brazil referred to this important historical event on its Facebook page. Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on Saturday received a Russian governmental delegation led by Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The issue for the development and deepening of cooperation between Armenia and Russia were discussed at the talk. Also, reference was made to the direct humanitarian assistance being provided to Artsakh, as well as the exchange of the bodies of the casualties and the measures toward the preservation of the Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh. Referring to the Turkey's role in maintaining the ceasefire in the Nagorno Karabakh conflict zone, Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov stressed that the respective Russian Turkish Monitoring Center will operate exclusively remotely. The parties exchanged views also on the military political situation in the region and cooperation on its stabilization. Armenian Prime Minister Pashinyan underscored the need for the resumption of normal life in Artsakh and the return of Artsakh Armenians to their homes. Today, Republic of Armenia Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan also met with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. After the meeting, the Russian Defense Minister left for Baku. During a meeting with the representatives of Armenia and Azerbaijan to UNESCO, the organization's director general Audrey Azulay proposed to send in a mission to Nagorno Karabakh in order to draw up an inventory of the most significant cultural assets for effective protection of the region's heritage. The Director General recalled the statements made by the United Nations Secretary General, who had expressed his relief and welcomed the agreement on a total ceasefire and cessation of hostilities in and around the Nagorno Karabakh conflict zone. The General Director of UNESCO once again stressed her appeal of 9 October for the protection of heritage in this region and the absolute necessity of preventing any further damage. UNESCO will work with all interested partners to create the conditions for such a mission. High level consultations have begun 
done with the state's culture in the Minsk group. The Border Department of the Russian Federal Security Service has allocated 188 servicemen and the necessary amount of equipment for the deployment of additional forces on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan, said the director of the Federal Service, Alexander Bortnikov, at a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin on the situation in Nagorno-Karabakh. He specified that the Azerbaijani side was informed about this and in this regard, the necessary interaction was organized with all participants in this process. Necessary issues from the point of view of interaction between the special services of Armenia and Azerbaijan, as well as the border departments, have been settled. There is a constant exchange of information. The head of the Federal Security Service has added. Now let us represent your attention a song by Masung. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.